Hi, this is Marissa from Flex VFX, and you're watching the Modern Calendar After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the different aspects of customizing this template from changing the monthly calendar, the weekly calendar, and then the everyday this month calendar. So let's get started by looking at our Modern Calendar Render Comp, and this is the final comp that you will render out um, for your QuickTime movie. And you'll see in our timeline that we have a few um, comp pre-comps edited together. We have our main intro, which is what we're looking at right here, and we can customize the text um, for this intro. Moving forward, we have an intro to uh, this month's event. So if you wanted to advertise um, some monthly events for a client or for your organization, um, you can change this text to say whatever you want, and you can also um, input your logo. And next is our month calendar animation comp. And in this composition, you can change the month, the year, um, you can change the days of the week if you wanted to start your week on a Monday instead of a Sunday. And also if you're using obviously a different language other than English, you would customize your days of the week in this composition. And in this comp, we also have our calendar set up and we'll, we'll go over that in just a second. Moving forward, we have um, in the preview, three days that we're focusing on. We start with the calendar animation and we zoom into a specific day of the week and then it zooms out back to our wide shot of the calendar. In these uh, compositions are called zoom in box and you're zooming into a specific box area in the month calendar and you can add as many days as you like. Um, these are all separate so you have about three days right here you can add the whole entire month if you wanted to and later on in this tutorial I'll show you how to do that. Moving on we have just this custom transition and next we have an intro to a generic weekly schedule and this animation and you can also change obviously the text in this area as well in this intro and you can change um, put your logo in this intro and the next animation for the weekly schedule you can change this text up here from day to Monday um, or Tuesday or whatever you want to change it to and all it is is just seven consecutive days where you can customize this to a weekly schedule or if you have lunch specials or pretty much anything that you have that you want to tell someone about that happens in a seven day period. And so next we have this composition which is an intro animation for the same day this month event. So if you have an event that happens every Friday for an entire month or it could be any day really. So moving on to the animation, we have our month at the very top and we have our day and those stay the same when once you uh, customize those to whatever month and day you want. Those don't move. All you're changing is the, the dates and all of those are separate comps from your actual uh, month. So the monthly stuff the monthly comp pre comps, all of those images, those dates are all specific for this month. And our weekly schedule, those are all in their own separate composition. So if you customize one of these boxes, like let's say Sunday the 4th, and you go to your weekly schedule, it's not going to show up. It's going to be in a separate comp. And that was just to give you more options and more flexibility with this template. So moving on. We have our transition again, and then our final comp is a closing scene where you can add your logo, you can add your tagline, and of course you can put your URL or your um, physical address in here as well. And the month that you specified in your monthly calendar animation comp is going to show up here as well just as a design element. So one more thing to show you in the render comp is the master con color controls layer. We have a color control for pretty much almost every, well yeah, every element in this template. The good thing about having these color controls in the render comp or in the final composition is that you can change any of these colors for any, the text, the text background, the month color, the text, everything is all in one composition. So if you want to move your current time indicator further into the timeline, you can, you can see what those colors will look like without having to open up all those other compositions. So we go to our color controls and look at the generic day number color. This is this aqua color. If we click on that, open up our color picker, 
change that color, it changes the colors for each day in this generic um, weekly schedule um, animation. So the first thing we're probably going to do is customize our calendar. So if we go to our month calendar animation comp, and if you double click on that, um, you can open up that timeline. And that actually is in our project panel under replace text here. Um, in this folder, you'll find all of the comps where you can change text areas. And that would be the month calendar animation comp, which is right here. And as you can see, we have uh, another text layer that we didn't see before. And this indicates where each composition is. And if you look at a calendar, an actual calendar, you'll see that in any given month, you have um, potentially 42 boxes in a grid. So you have six weeks, seven days, potentially six weeks. Um, wh one of those weeks, you might just have one day. So for example, in June, we're using six rows of this grid but only one day on some of those weeks. So the compositions and the way this project is organized is based around these boxes. So your month might start on a Sunday or a Monday, it just depends on what year and what month it is. So for example, in August 2013, if we uh, skip ahead in our calendar and look towards the future, um, our month starts on a Thursday. So the box we're going to use or the composition is going to be box 05. So if we go down in our timeline and scroll down, and we have all of our boxes here. And actually, let me change that to source name. Those are calendar day boxes. Each week is color coded. So our first week here is in purple, and our second week is in orange. And you get the idea by looking at the timeline. And if we go to calendar day box 05 and double click that to open it up, we have some text layers that we can customize. You can customize your date here. You can customize your event and you have your time. It doesn't have to be a time um, for that first line. It could be whatever you like. And then uh, we have a date, day of the week for Thursday. And unless you're using a different um, language other than English, you don't really have to change that because every calendar day box 05 is always it's always going to be Thursday so you don't have to worry too much about that and each box that corresponds to a day of the week they already are late they're already labeled um, Monday Tuesday Wednesday so you don't even have to change that if you don't want to so let's go ahead and change this calendar to June 2013 so let's start at the top with our month and double click on that text layer and we'll type June 2013 There we go. If you want to change that font for that text layer, you can do that in the character panel. And remember that all of our color controls are in our final render comp. You can also change the days of the week also if you wanted it to say Sunday instead of sun or just put an S, you can, it's a text layer, so all you do is double click and start typing in your text. Okay, so let's, let's look at our calendar and we'll see for June 2013, our first day is on a Saturday. So we're going to start with box number seven right here. And you can double click on that to open that pre-comp up. And we're going to change this three to a one because this is now our first day. And if we wanted to change any of these text layers, we can by double clicking. And to replace our photo, you can go to the replace calendar date image 07 composition, double click to open that up. You can delete this placeholder and if you want to import your any photos or videos, you can go to File, Import, File. We'll select our video, click Open, it's imported. And let's drag our imported video into our timeline. Here we go, and we can use our Select tool to place that where we like, right there. And if we go back to our calendar day box 07, you'll see that our image has been updated with our video. You can update your text and we have our date. So let's go back to our monthly calendar animation comp. And since our month starts on that Saturday, we're gonna turn off box five and six. So let's scroll down and turn those layers off. 
because we don't need them. The next day, the second day of June is going to be, obviously that Sunday will be the second on our calendar. And our last day is going to be the 30th, which is going to be box number 36 in our, in our calendar right here. So let's scroll up and find box 36 there. Select and turn that on. So let's select calendar box 08 and then scroll up in our timeline to box number 36 and let's hold down shift while selecting that layer. And so now all of our layers are selected between box number 8 and box number 36 and if we double click on any of these After Effects will open up all the timelines that we need in order to customize our calendar. So if you recall box number 8 is actually June 2nd so we'll type in a 2. If you move on to box number 9 we're going to change that to a 3 and so on and so forth until you get to box number 36. So I'm going to go ahead and update all of our dates in this calendar and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we're back in our month calendar animation comp and as you can see we have June customized and if we go back to our month modern calendar render comp you'll see that in all the other um, compositions and animations where we have the month it's already been updated and it says June shows the month of June. We're going to change our first day um, to our Saturday, which is June 1st, and that would be box number seven. If you go back to our calendar animation, you'll remember box seven. If we go to our project panel and go to the zoom into each day from calendar folder, scroll that down and go to the zoom in box 07 composition. We can hold down alt while selecting and dragging that into our timeline, and that will replace any layer that you have highlighted in your timeline. So now we have our animation comp that zooms into box number seven. And if we scrub through the timeline, we can see that's exactly what happens. Zoom back out. And so with these zoom in and zoom out compositions, you want to make sure that when they're edited together that they're not overlapping too much from the end and from the beginning. Um, each of these animations starts and stops on the same camera angle, so that's why it looks like the camera is zooming in and then zooming out in a seamless way because it was sort of made that way but in separate compositions so that you can choose whichever box you need or day that you need. You can choose as many as you want. You can only do one. You can put the entire month in here if you wanted to, or you can just use the three that are included in this preview. Um, if you wanted to make more or have more days in here, what I would do first is select all of the layers above our zoom in box compositions. So again, you want to select a layer, hold shift while clicking on uh, the end of that range of layers that you want to move. And then you want to go into the timeline, just move them down and just make a little bit of room to edit in another zoom in composition. So let's say we wanted um, our last day, which would be box 36. We'll go back to our project panel, go to the zoom in to each day from calendar folder, scroll down to box number 36, and just drag that in to our timeline. We want to zoom out a little bit so we can see where it is. It's at the beginning. I'm going to drag that down and then you want to make sure that the previous animation ends back at that same camera angle before you start your next composition so that way it looks like a seamless zoom in and zoom out. And then we might want to drag our other layers that come after that over just a tiny bit so that way there aren't any gaps. There we go. And you would just follow that process, just dragging in and dropping in into your timeline and moving them around, moving these pre comps around in the timeline to edit together as many days as you need. And also just to quickly show you in our project panel, we do have a folder for to replace all the images. If you twirl that down, we have pre comps for our calendar month. 
And then we have pre-comps for our, the generic um, weekly images. And then we have another set of pre another set of placeholders for our same day this month. So you have about 55, I believe, placeholders um, in this entire template. You don't have to use all of them. You only use what you need, but you could potentially have 55 different placeholders. And we also have a placeholder for our logo. And that shows up in our intro and well, actually in all of the intros, except for the first one. Thank you.